Welcome back. Just when you think the Houston Housing Authority's controversial $100 million affordable housing complex at 800 Middle Street couldn't get any more rotten, it does. Already under state scrutiny for building the project on a site surrounded by deeply contaminated properties, HHA is now under fire for submitting demonstrably false information crucial to gaining federal funding for the complex. At issue, a gigantic radio tower located a matter of yards from the project. The housing authority claimed that uh, the antenna somehow collapsed. It posed little danger to the structure because its fall zone was only 300 feet long. Trouble is, the tower is actually 300 meters long, nearly a thousand feet, and if knocked down, could easily crash on much of the 800 Middle Street complex and the low income folks compelled to live there. Fox 26 was eager to get the new mayor's reaction, and he delivered. The tower is just one more component of some poor uh, decision making by the housing authority, and I think you'll be seeing some leadership changes there as soon as I can get out of here. We've done everything we can, working with legal to see if we could put a halt to it. Panel, I've covered some greed-driven boondoggles over the years, but this one may be the most blatant. Holly, you've done some good reporting on this issue. Uh, we have it right here? Oh, yeah, it's, it's perplexing <coughs> that this got through, that this has been approved. HUD did halt the sale on this property uh, to the Houston Housing Authority back in 2019. Uh, they claimed that uh, they had remedied the problems. Uh, they knew that it was, there was a chain link fence separating the property from a super fun site. There's an active lead smelter right next door. Um, there are multiple problems with this property that the Housing Authority knew about. About. And now we're looking at these applications, and as you said, it, they said it was 300 uh, feet, and it's actually 300 meters. And you know, I know Americans are mostly in the imperial system; they don't understand the <laughs> translation. But that is a very significant mistake, if it in fact is a mistake. Um, I, I really hope that the mayor will take a deep dive into this and possibly audit some of the other transactions that the Houston Housing Authority has undertaken. There's been a problem there for years with transparency. Uh, some of their projects they haven't been very uh, forthcoming about you know who's benefiting and on this particular sale there was a broker that got a six hundred and fifty thousand dollar commission to sell this land that uh, was known to be a problem for families that are going to live there and at a terrible cost if you break it down right now those 400 units are coming in and it was something like three hundred and sixty thousand dollars per unit which mm. makes no sense whatsoever <laughs> all right said so your friends on the east side have been keeping a very close watch yeah. on this they don't like and what do you make of this new development oh uh, this is great i'm glad that the uh the new mayor is, is tackling this he's trying to you know talk with his legal team uh, arturo michelle and all of those folks to put a halt to this and a permitting you know, is issuing permits for this and looking at all the legal aspects of it. But again, this is a boondog, and I like that the mayor said this is the great Grugan facility because oh. of the great reporting. Um, <laughs> however, you know, it just doesn't make sense, this tower that fall. We live in a hurricane, you know, close to mm -hmm. Gulf of Mexico area, and it's just a boondog. It's a waste of time. But what I do like about the mayor is that he's a seasoned public servant for many years, and he can smell that if you try to sell me swampland in the desert, I can smell that a mile away. And he said it himself, like many other folks, he's not patient. And he's not going to be patient with these type of waste um, boondoggles that we have in our city. Let's go big picture here. You know, we asked our, our audience uh, whether we should be moving towards, you know, vesting folks in single family homes, affordable housing versus apartments. Uh, about 64% still think that apartments are, is the way to go. Your thoughts about affordable housing, Marcus? Well, I, I, I don't have much thought about affordable housing. Uh, from a big picture standpoint, I do have thought about this issue from a big picture, right? Um, I know the Housing Authority has its, its, its issues, and it's failed uh, in a lot of ways. But there's layers of failure here, federal failure, because the paperwork was submitted to the feds. Mm -hmm. Their state Great. failure, TCEQ. We never would have gotten here if either the state or the federal government had done their job. So the city didn't do their job, but the state or the federal government, neither of them did their job. More importantly, Holly mentioned the broker who got $600,000. What about the land owner? Mm -hmm. You started by talking about this is about greed. We've never talked about who's really making the money off of this. 
who the developers are, who the land owner, the land sellers were. This started way back under uh, uh, a Nice right. campaign. And, and we're not talking about where the money was really made. Mm, we're gonna